Hi, thank you, Zoom, for recording the session. Uh, we are in the last 10 minutes of this communicative English Launchpad session today. Uh, so far, we have discussed very interesting topics like uh, career future planning for one of the participants, Mamshika, and discussion around that. And from that discussion, we focused on when to ask a question and how to ask a question. And then in these last 10 minutes, I would like to discuss the importance or the significance of today, that is September 17th. Okay, right. So is there anyone who wants, is there anyone here who wants to talk about what is the speciality of today? September 17th, September 17th. Right. Let me ask, let me take you into the answer step by step by asking some small questions, you know, some simple questions. Okay, right. My first question to all of you. Vishwakarma Day, sir. Oh, yeah. Some people, yes. Some people are saying that today is Vishwakarma Day. Yeah, that's nice. So Vishwakarma is a kind of architect, you know, or kind of a significant engineer, you know, who was behind the designing and construction of many physical and other things, I think. I don't have a great idea about Vishwakarma. I have a basic idea that Vishwakarma, you know, was a, was a kind of architect or a designer of things, you know, almost like a set designer, you know, or the set director for a movie, you know. So when a movie is shot, there is a, there is a role, there is a person who takes care of, uh, you know, designing and implementing the set sets, SCP sets, okay, right? Uh, movie actors would be normally telling that, you know, in the set, in the set like that, they would be saying, right? So there, would, there should be someone who cons designs and constructs that set, right? So that one is called set director. So this Vishwakarma is like a very big scale set director. Maybe, uh, maybe it seems like he did many, you know, good things, many great things in terms of uh, designing and architecture, right? So that is all I, I know about Vishwakarma. So thank you very much, Ramsika, talking about for talking about Vishwakarma. And now other than this Vishwakarma, Okay, there is one more significance, you know, which is more connected to Hyderabad. So we have some, you know, uh, what we say, we have some participants here from Sikandrabad, you know, and Hyderabad, these are called twin cities actually, right? So for example, Arnav and Nihal are from, you know, Sikandrabad, I think. So Sikandar, Hyder, you know, on these two people's names. Sir, we are, yeah. sir, we are in uh, Elbinagar, sir. Oh, you are in Lal Bahadur Nagar, maybe, or LB Nagar. Okay, right. So, anyway, you are connected to Hyderabad, right? At least Arnav and, uh, you know, uh, Nihal are directly connected to Hyderabad. And today, the significance of today, you know, the speciality of today is actually more connected to Hyderabad. Okay, now, can anyone guess what am I talking about? What, sir? Uh, you know, just other than Vishwakarma's birthday, it seems, you know, the, you know, the person who was into design and architecture. Okay, right. Uh, there is one more speciality for, uh, you know, for this date, that is September 1-7. Okay, right. So now my question to all of you, especially those who are more connected to Hyderabad is, what is that speciality of today that is more connected to Hyderabad? Okay, all right, let me tell you the answer. Okay, right, see, uh, what is the official language right now in Hyderabad? Don't know, sir. Uh, maybe official language most probably would be Telugu or English maybe, right? But before 1948, see, what was the year in which India got independence? Anyone can answer. What was the year in which India got independence, political independence? Sir, I'm searching. Hmm? What? Anyone can answer. Okay, India got political independence in the year 1947, right? But till, but till 1948, September 17, that is today, okay, right? Hyderabad was not really part of political India. You know, they were, uh, they wanted to become either a country on their own or they wanted to become a part of Pakistan. 
okay so at that time hyderabad was under the rulership of nizam andhra pradesh called nizam okay so under this nizam okay the official language was first official language was urdu and second official language was uh, you know some farsi i think and then telugu was not an official language even in schools you know telugu was not taught at that time they did not teach telugu in schools but despite not having telugu in schools you know many extraordinary writers many extraordinary authors many extraordinary poets came from telangana from that time uh, have you heard of a name called dr c narayan reddy you know have you heard the name dr c narayan dr c narayan reddy dr c narayan reddy you know he is a very famous you know writer author poet okay right so he came from telangana i mean he was there at, at that place only at like nizam you know under rulership and he did not have telugu medium you know he did not study telugu in his education he, he only studied uh, you know urdu and farsi maybe yeah and also there is there is a very famous writer there is a very famous uh, you know knowledgeable person called dasaradhi dasaradhi rangacharya i think his complete name okay right he he his literature is about vedas ramayana like that you know right he you know can, can you believe that you know he did not he, even this dasaradhi rangacharya did not undergo formal telugu education there was no telugu language in his in his formal academic education because at that time in nizam the so called hyderabad was called nizam ruling at that time so it was called nizam i think maybe or it was also called hyderabad i think because hyderabad came from hyder you know sikandarabad came from the from the name sikandar okay right yes or no yeah so now at that time urdu was the first language but still you know these people somehow secretly or somehow they learned telugu also and they became poets they became yeah. poets, they became you know the great people into literature okay right so that is the that i mean i'm just giving you some information around today the special day of today so on september 17th 2018 same day september 17th but not 2018 it was 1948 so on so on september 17th 1948 what happened was under the leadership of the home minister of india you know right sardar vallabhbhai patel okay right so indian army you know acquired indian army took over hyderabad okay since then so only from 1948 september 17 hyderabad became part of india so in between 9 august 15th 1947 in indian independence day political independence day and you know september 17th 1948 hyderabad was not politically part of india they were they were thinking about becoming a separate country or to become a part of pakistan it's so it was only because of the tact and the capacity of people like uh, sardar vallabhbhai patel that uh, india you know uh, could take uh, hyderabad also inside you know hyderabad also became part of integral india okay right so i hope this information is useful to you okay right so most probably we are in the last one minute so this video you can watch on the if you are watching on the youtube you can just see the description below sir? yes please yes yeah sir the meeting will end in 3 uh, uh, seconds 2 wow okay then then see that youtube video see the description and sign up i think uh, i think yeah maybe the session is over now i think you know